Hello, boys and girls. Today we will be reading aloud The Legend of Ninja Cowboy Bear. And I know the other day I read about um, the legend of ninja, but this is how um, they kind of got started. So this book is going to be about the ninja, the cowboy and the bear do everything together. They paint pictures, compare cloud shapes in the sky, fly kites, and much, much more. So let's get started. Once upon a time, there were three friends, a ninja, a cowboy, and a bear. They did everything together and enjoyed each other's company. However, they were each different in their own way. One day, those differences came between them, and here is what happened. The ninja and the bear started to quarrel. The ninja thought he was better than the bear. The bear disagreed. So that's an interesting word, quarrel. Remember yesterday we kind of talked about coming across maybe words we don't understand and looking for clues. What do you think that word quarrel means? Well, I think it's a, um, having like an argument or a disagreement. So they asked the cowboy to decide who was better. Unable to choose between his friends, the cowboy arranged a competition to see who could build the largest pile of rocks. Although the ninja tried his best, in the end, his pile was much smaller than the bear's. So the bear boasted that he was unbeatable. Oh, that's another interesting word. He boasted. Hmm. What do you think that word boasted means? Well, I noticed that the bear is kind of cheering for himself. And I think boasting means he was saying, hey, uh, you can't beat me and I'm the best. So it's kind of like bragging. The cowboy disagreed. He thought he could beat the bear and they began to argue. So they asked the ninja to decide who was better. Unable to choose between his friends, the ninja created a competition to see who could pick the most raspberries. Oh, what do we notice is happening? Who do you think is going to be picking the most raspberries? Although the bear tried his best, he could not collect nearly as many raspberries as the cowboy. So the cowboy claimed that no one could beat him. The ninja disagreed and another argument began. So they asked the bear to decide who was better. Unable to choose between his friends, the bear created a competition to see who could catch the most rabbits. Although the cowboy tried his best, he could not catch as many rabbits as the ninja. Afterwards, the three friends were confused. They still did not know who was the best. Frustrated, they parted ways. The ninja spent time in quiet meditation. The bear consulted with a wise old friend. And the cowboy took to the hills. And soon they each realized something very important. The ninja appreciated the bear's great strength. The bear wondered at the cowboy's precision and accuracy. The cowboy was in awe of the ninja's agility. The ninja, the cowboy, and the bear recognized that no one had to be the best. They were each special and unique, just like you and me. Oh, now it says how to play ninja cowboy bear, the game. You can take a minute to kind of look at the game for a minute. What are they doing? All right. Boys and girls, thank you for listening today.